maybe you should teach me. Sky people cannot learn you do not see. <laughs> then teach me how to see. No one can teach you to see. Hello everyone and welcome to the Eva channel. My name is Marwa, aka Miss English Teacher. Here you will find everything you need to learn English. In today's video, I am going to teach you some expressions from Avatar. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you wouldn't miss any videos like this. Let's get started. I'm going to be teaching you two things with this expression. The expression is sooner or later though. Sooner or later though. You always have to wake up. So, what does it mean? When you say you will have to do that sooner or later, it means eventually, at some point in time, you still need to do this, though. I don't know if you have seen this before, but I am pretty sure you know although or however. Um, let me explain to you all about two. So let's say today is incredibly hot and normally when it's hot weather you would wear half sleeves, right? So you would wear a top. But there is this person who is wearing a coat. So I will say, although it's warm, he's wearing a coat. Or I could say, it's warm, he's wearing a coat though. Now pay attention, you would always use though at the end of the sentence, okay? So it's a little bit different, although you would put it in the beginning or in the middle, but though always comes at the end. You have to leave or you're gonna die. Next expression is the following. You have to leave or you're gonna die. Here, the person is giving them two choices, right? So we use this or when we're giving people options. By the way, there is one common mistake that I hear a lot. When you're talking about things that you like, for example, I like chocolate, and cakes, right? But if I want to talk about my dislikes, I would say, I don't like zucchini, nut and, or broccoli, okay? So you don't link it with and, but you link it with or. You have to leave or you're gonna die. The ultimate. <laughs> Next expression is, how does it feel? How does it feel to betray your own race? So, when you ask someone the question, how does it feel? It means what kind of emotions they have about this. Next expression is, to cross the line. You crossed the line. Let's imagine this is, this is, this pen is a line and I'm going to walk over this line, right? But when I say you cross the line, there's no actual real line that you're going to cross, but we're talking more about boundaries, okay? Let's say when you are talking to your mother, you need to always be respectful, right? But if you say, mom you're acting stupid then your mother will say hey young lady or young man you've crossed the line you should not do that you should not say that there is respect between us and you're not allowed to behave in this way so that is the meaning of crossing the line next expression is the last thing i need Court. The last thing I need is another trigger-happy moron out there. Look. So when do you use it? 
Let's continue with our example. And you are very busy and you have to focus and you have to study. And then your friend comes and says to you that she has some gossip about you. <laughs> and you will say, okay, I, I am very busy, I am overwhelmed and I really don't want to hear or I really don't need this. I have no use for this piece of information that you're bringing me. You know, I'll say, the last thing I need now is to hear some gossip about me. I don't need this. I don't want it in my life, right? The last thing I need. The last expression is, I see you. This is a really moving scene. I see you. I see you. So here, what he's referring to is, is, is not that he's actually seeing her, but it's actually deeper than that. It means, uh, I understand you and, and you do matter. And so when you say to someone that you see them, it means you are aware of their actions also and who they truly are. Have you seen this movie before? Let me know in the comment sections below. I hope this was useful to you. If you have any questions about the expressions that I have just explained, then let me know in the comment sections below. In my next video, I am going to be teaching you some slang with Joey. And I know you don't want to miss that. So let's get down to it. <laughs>